Welcome to the southwest of France. Spend a day with me living in my half of a chateau. I am Amadeus. And I'm renovating a 13th century chateau. To be all honest with you, it's just a half. And you're watching my vlog about my new life in France. Welcome back to the vlog, everyone. It's been a while. Actually, not that much, a few days. <laughs> so my parents just left this morning. My boyfriend left last night because he had to go to the UK for uh, a job. Um, so he's coming back on Friday, but we're just spending the day together today. Just doing like little chores here and there. It's super warm. It's super beautiful outside. And um, yeah, I'm motivated to get some of the rooms ready, like slowly, 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 really taking our time. I already started with my mom. And now I just want to prepare the green room so it's all done when somebody books and I just need to unveil it and it's ready to go. So yeah, let's just spend a nice day here. It's sunny, it's warm, it's beautiful. It's the southwest of France. <laughs> that are growing and happy. So my parents just left this room and I um, am leaving it like this actually. All I'm doing is taking this away probably. Um, and that's it. That's for one of the guest rooms. Oh, I've got like one million projects still. But yeah. I want to find something big that can cover up the green room bed. This, I presume, it's all freshly washed here. It's just like stains from paint, but um, it's just to, so that I can basically make the bed already and just pull the cover off um, and it won't be like dusty or weird, you know. Let's take this and let's go up. I had forgotten the mattress protector because um, I want to put it, it's more hygienic, like this I can wash a bit more layers and it's a bit more hygienic for guests. I'm also actually just also considering if I should have a bed or a setup for this room with two single beds because basically these beds can separate. Um, so maybe I should also look into that. Or to find a way to just have them separated from the get-go which would mean I would have to turn them around um, yeah I'll figure that out I mean it would be possible without the sofa because the moment I move this part over there the sofa needs to go like the sofa needs to go full stop so maybe it would be an option for retreats to have like two people in here that uh, don't know each other well. But I think the way it was, I was best. Yikes! Okay, let's put it back. I'm not going to bore you with this anymore. <laughs> I just had to run down to get another of my deliveries because I got another um hand wash that i order from i order like big big batches of hand wash and soap and everything for the chateau like i said for the bnb &B, i think in my last video i mentioned it that i do like refills and most most of the stuff is faith in nature so it comes in huge canisters of like five, five liters it's just to run down to get it from the post <sighs> but at least the couch is back the bed is back now i'm totally exhausted <laughs> I just really love the view from here. I mean, look at it. You can see the lake and everything. It's so gorgeous. It's all covered up. 
and it's already made. So like this, I just need to remove the covers and I'm good to go when somebody books. Also, my mom gave me this orchid. Um, I'm not a huge fan of orchids, but I think it's quite cute in here. Now, the only thing missing up here is another picture that I was thinking to put up there. And it's one of the portraits that I found, but I'm not really sure where to put it. I still have two pictures where I'm not really sure how, where to put them up. I think I will put him right here next to the um, little shelf. So I hope you can see now. I think like this would be really cute to have him as high as the wardrobe and there. I think that would be very, very cute. And I like having a bit of the family portraits also inside the rooms. It makes them a bit more like personal somehow. <laughs> making beds <laughs> this one <laughs> now it's my own bed so um yeah always making beds look at how pretty this looks downstairs oh i'm so happy it's starting to look and feel like the season and we can live outside again and i just can't wait i just really can't wait i'm so ready for it <laughs> So this huge piece of fabric is um, the cover for the outdoor sofa, which I'm gonna put on um, because I think it's time to just put it on. We didn't have troubles, <laughs> please, with pigeons. So I'm brave enough to just put it on the outdoor sofa and let it already be on there. It's really warm in the sun, it's like really hot actually. <laughs> Um, so I decided to make myself a nice coffee and relax for a bit and I'm thinking, I'm contemplating whether to go and get some sitting cushions for the chairs, for the outside chairs. I've been looking for some already but I haven't found any like cheap good ones so maybe we could have another look. I don't know and I also need to get some actually also some earth and things so maybe like some soil. So maybe we could just like see and I still have a pot. <laughs> I'm just like god crazy. <laughs> mm. It's nice to just relax for a moment. <laughs> I just love the garden so much right now. And just to imagine that it made such a huge progress. It's just incredible so 
I know it's not perfect and it's not the way I ultimately want it to be, but it already is so good. So I'd say let's go and find some stuff for the garden. and Jardy from Leclerc and uh, let's get a cart. I hope I still have a euro. Mm, I did not think about that. Um, and then let's go. I guess something like this but I really don't like the colors so much. So let's kind of check if there's other colors. I mean there's this kind of like I think I prefer the orangey kind of like it's bit nicer, right? Or maybe this will fit more into the barn. It's hard to say. Maybe the saffron kind of color will be better. This one. I'll go for this one. All right, we're packed in. Uh, I luckily got like a, a little coin from them because I didn't have a euro um, to get the card. But luckily they are really, really nice people. Everything is in the back. Um, and as you could see, I bought an oleander. I really wanted one and I think I'm gonna, I have a pot. I'm gonna put it in the pot first and then probably it's gonna out outgrow the pot at one point and then I'll just have to like repot it, but for now it's gonna be fine. So yes, that's it. I guess we're going back home and then, oh gosh, it's already five o'clock. It's like time's just flying. <laughs> Can you actually see this one? What a cutie, bit in the back. So I also got tulips because they were a bit cheaper. And I'd say let's plant this oleander into the pot that I got, which is this one. It's not super big, but I think it's gonna be sufficient for the first one or two years, I hope. Let's see. For now, I'll leave it there and then I'll decide on a good and better spot for it. Um, I do think that it'll probably be just like the first year in this pot and then I have to think about like putting it in the ground eventually but I'm not sure where so this is kind of my temporary fix for it <laughs> because I really wanted one <laughs> the puppies are all excited because we're going for a tiny tiny little walk <laughs> all righties my phone is almost running out of battery because I've been filming all day <laughs> And I just had a little beer uh, in the garden while calling my parents. The kids have been taken out and I will prepare some dinner. And during that time, I'll actually charge my phone because at 8.30, I also need to be up at the mairie because it's the next council meeting. Since the council last week did not happen because there weren't so enough councillors there. So I'm going to go back and yeah, now I see it behind me. I have chosen and ordered a paint color for the volleys and I have ordered a new door. <gasps> you guys, I'll show you. I chose little greens, James. So I'll show you. So all these patches have been on here for quite a long time. And I was leaning towards this one, but this looks very very pale and white in the sunlight so i chose james which is this one i think this one's gonna look really nice very kind of majestic i'd say and i think it's gonna just give me a nice effect because also i didn't want something too dark or too light 
because too light is just too bright, too dark is too much like Provence, which we aren't at all. Um, we're not the south of France, you know, it's, you've got to keep it kind of in relation. So I also checked the PLU, the um, Plan Local d'Urbanisme, which is basically like uh, how they want you to paint also the shutters, doors and everything um, in your region. So, um, and this kind of color, James, was sort of there. So that's why I also um, ordered the door in white and I'm gonna paint it in the little green color. And I just ordered the little green colors yesterday. I can't wait for them to arrive. Actually, I arrived. I ordered another color, but I'm not gonna say what kind of color. And it's for the bench it goes here i'll just have to carry it over and sand it and redo it and i can't wait for it to be here just made myself a quick ramen bowl watched some youtube actually finally i haven't watched youtube i didn't have the chance to watch all my favorite channels for a really long time so i'm just gonna watch i think another video of another youtuber that i keep on following and then i need to get ready and um, I would like to take a shower before I go to the Conseil, to the council. And then I'll go to the council. And this might be a long one because it's the budget. So we'll see. I really hope it doesn't go too long. I think last year the budget went until two in the morning. I did not take a shower yet, but I just realized, first of all, that I needed to close my shutters and everything and that I had left the windows open in here <laughs> and the second floor and the guest I almost said wing but oh well let's call it the guest wing um so I've been also charging some lights here they are charged up and yes yes I need to close those windows Same goes for this room already. Also, this room is already prepared for guests. My mom and I did it. Oh, look, I really like this room. It's a really cute room. Um, yeah, same thing. Need to close the window here. That is done. And we can leave the second floor. Um, yeah, and I'll go and take a shower and I'll talk to you after the council, which can go on quite long i think oh, well let's see we'll see how it goes <laughs> just came back from the council and let the puppies out and had a sip of water got ready for bed now just brushed my teeth that's it we've had quite the day haven't we we managed a lot a lot a lot of things a lot of different things and just like 24 hours, not even 24 hours, a day, basically. Yeah, but I'm exhausted now. Council meeting was like, eh, wasn't many councillors there. And there was the budget, so it was a lot of, like, numbers and, like, yeah. I mean, you can only sit and just watch, basically. But, yeah, um, I'm really tired. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to call me. And, um, yeah, that's it that's it for today thank you very much for following my day and i hope you liked it i hope I, you got some insights if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing it helps me immensely and leaving the video a like if you have questions or comments comment down below and let's talk i'm trying to always respond as fast as possible and yeah I shall talk to you very soon. I'm considering maybe leaving out the Sunday videos. I'm seeing that the Sunday videos are not performing so well. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just do the Wednesday thing for a while. And then we'll just see how it goes, right? It's a matter of trial and error. So um, yeah, thank you so much. And all that's left to say is à bientôt et au revoir. Bisous from the southwest of France. Bye and good night. <laughs>